All right, man, I just want to do a recap on my machines that I got right now. Sorry for shaking so much, but I just got that blower. You can see it's a brand new blower. It is a Husk Varna 150BT. Uh, I bought a used one. Let me sit down here. Uh, I bought a used one of these, right? I bought a used one off Facebook, matter of fact. Um, it has a very long tip. I bought a used one. This is a brand new one. Brand new. You see how clean it is? But I bought a used one on Facebook for 60 bucks. The guy was getting rid of it for, I think, um, 80 or something. Uh, and I was like, I'll give you 60. You know, and it was so dirty, you know. It was like whitish dirty, you know. And I was like, Jesus. And on the on his post, it said something like, used for construction, had it for construction work. And I that to me told me like that's no wonder why it's so dirty because it was like whitish and dirty everything was fucking white like construction blowing off white concrete you know what i mean and so i got it i took it home and i paid that paid him 60 bucks i took it home and i took it apart it was very easy it's just like taking these guys apart you see my videos of taking me taking apart the echo srm 225 i got that this is bothering me man that black thing on my on my finger I got that taken apart my lawnmower and I went to go turn the flywheel and my finger got caught in the metal. My finger got caught metal against metal when I turned it. I was like, ah, that shit pisses me off, man. But anyways, that shit's probably not going to be gone for like a few years because look where it sat on my on my nail. <laughs> it's like right above like the white moon like part of your skin right there. That's where like the white moon is half moon or whatever. It's like right above that. Like that's like where your blood vessels are at. I don't know. Anyways, so I took it apart and I saw the piston was so dirty. So I was like, maybe this is why this is why it didn't start. So I scraped the piston off. And then after I cleaned it, you know, I was taking a look at the piston and I saw the ring. I was like, oh, the ring, the ring and the piston was fucked up. It was like, it was like, it was like fucked up. And I was like, damn, the ring like came off. I was like, damn, was the ring snapped. And I looked in the cylinder head, and the cylinder head like a, had like a scratch on the cylinder wall, like the port of the wall where the piston goes up and down. On the port of the wall, the cylinder had like a scratch because of the ring. I was like, no. I was like, damn. You know what I mean? So the piston, the ring, and the cylinder head, I'd have to buy a whole new ones. And that right there would probably cost me over about 150 bucks. So I just went and paid 299 for this plus the discount. My dad's discount, and we walked out of Lowe's with this, and this has been serving me well ever since. But I don't know if I made a video about this chainsaw, but I got this chainsaw, 33cc, it's a home light. I think I did make a video about it, I don't know, um, but it's a 14-inch bar. You see that right there? It And it's a very good chainsaw. It cost me $35. Off Craigslist, I bought it. Off Craigslist for $35, it was not working. And all I did was just adjust the carburetor. I just adjusted the carburetor, and this thing works just fucking amazing, man. 35 bucks, bro. This thing is making me hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And I just bought another one. You can see this. It comes with its original. It comes with its box, you see right here. And it's another home light. It's a home light, bro. I can lift it up. Look at that. It's freaking, it comes with bar, bar and chain oil. It comes with the instructions under there. You know what I mean? And it's so dirty in here. I got to get in here and clean the whole box. I put gas in it yesterday. I had, like I bought this yesterday, ba basically, for $45. This is a 45cc. That one is a 33cc. But they're both home lights. See, they're both home lights. This one is a bigger compartment, whereas that one is a very tiny one. But they're both home lights. They're both home lights. They both work. Um, when I bought, the, I bought this one off Facebook, the same place where I bought this, um, where I bought my used one of this. So this is the brand new one. The used one I have is in my my shed back there. 
So I'm going to be buying parts for that one pretty soon, maybe within the next year or so. I don't know. There's no rush. I've already got like two extra blowers and like that one. You know what I mean? And I got a still blower sitting up there and I bought used. You can't even see it. It's so like, it's like right there. There goes the stuff in pieces. But, um, I bought this yesterday off Facebook for $45 and man, like the guy was saying that, uh, the last time he used it was the last hurricane here in Florida. And, um, he said, so it, it ran for him. He said, but then he just had it in his garage. So I was like, all right. And he was listing it for 79 bucks. And I was like, 79 bucks. So I mentioned him. I was like, would you take 45 for it? He's like, okay. So he took $45 from me and I took this off of his hands. It came with the box, this case, it came with the instructions and it came with this bar and chain oil. He also gave me like a little gas tank, like a little miniature gas tank. And I took it home and I come to find out like the prime bulb was shot and the prime bulb, the prime bulb right there. Oh man, that prime bulb was disgustingly shot. Uh, prime bulb. This is a brand new prime bulb in here. I went to Lowe's and I bought like a, a a kit, a prime bulb kit. It wasn't even for this. It was for like it was like a universal one. So I bought it and it fit. To change the prime bulb, you just don't change that plastic. I mean, this rubber tube. You got to change the whole black. It's like a one piece. So, but that prime bulb had a hole in it, and I was like, damn, you know. So I think I had to order parts, but I just tried out and drove to Home Depot, bought it, and came back and installed it. And then when I installed the prime ball, I just pumped it, pumped it, and if it was pulling fuel. You see, there's this fuel in the in the bulb. I was priming it, and it pumped up, and I pulled the choke on. I can't even do it on my, on my left hand. I pulled the choke on, started it, and it cranked. Pushed it back in, started it, and it, sh and it stayed on. It cranked right on, and it stayed on. I was like, damn. And then I'm going to go pull the trigger, and I'm pulling the trigger, and it doesn't, the chain. By the way, this is an 18-inch. See that right there, 18 inch. It's a beauty, man. It is a beauty. This is a bigger chainsaw overall. And but when I went to go, you know, pull on the trigger, the chain would not rotate. And I'm like, why wouldn't you rotate? So, um, it basically, I guess, had the same issue as that one. This is a break right here. This is the handle to hold it. This is the chain break. The chain break, meaning if you pull it, it's engaged. If you push it forward, um, it's not engaged. It gives it. It gives it a break. You know what I mean? It stops the chain. So like when you, when you, when it's on, and you don't want this thing to move, you push this forward. You push this thing forward. Bomb. You push it forward, and it's gonna stop this chain, no matter even if you use it. And that's what. It, that's basically what it was. It was forever stuck. So I went to go. It was on, and this thing was pressed in, and I went to go squeeze it, and it was just stuck. You hear. It, brrr, brrr. You know what I mean? That's how it sounded like when you have the chain break engaged when you have it on. When you pull it back, and you then you you know what I mean? So like I pulled it back and I'm pulling it, pulling it, pulling it, and then I'm I'm holding it just like this with my left hand and I'm squeezing on the trigger with my right hand and it tends and then when I'm doing that, it spins the bullet, it spins the chain. So I was like, okay. I was like, all right. So I took these two nuts off, and then I found the chain break. The chain break, when you take these two nuts off, this whole plate comes out, and there's a ball right in here. There's like a, not a ball, but like a, like a, a like, yeah, I guess it's like a ball where this bar and this chain connects to. You put this chain right here, and you wrap this chain around that ball that's right here. Because that ball is what rotates the chain, okay? It rotates the chain. When you when you go bang bang bang, this ball rotates bang 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 bang, and it rotates that chain every time you pull on the trigger. So this brake right here, this brake is connected by a spring. It's going down, wrapped around the ball. But I have the spring right here. Let's give me a second.
here's the spring or well, it's not a spring but it's like a this is what was wrapped around it it goes just like that and it was tight it was tight around it just like that tight preventing it to it not to spin so i was like i was like that's what it is you know what i mean so what i did was i just basically cut this piece off you can see it right there Can't really get a good view of it, but I just cut it with some metal cutters or whatever. I just used like a tool to cut it, and then I was just bending it and bending it, and bing, it finally ripped off. And I did the same thing here, because this was like that. It was like that, and then this piece was tight, you know what I mean? So I just basically ripped it off. And then now, after I ripped it off, the, that piece right there, was it, it was free. And I could spin it with my hand, and I was like, all right, so there you go. So if I could spin it with my hand, you know, before I couldn't spin it with my hand, and now that this thing is off, I connected everything back together, just like how you see right now. Cranked it right on, cranked it on. I went, gang, 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 and this thing was rotating. Gang, 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 gang. So the carburetor is already tuned. I might have to tune it just a little bit more to... To, to, to from my liking, from my taste of my trigger, because I like, because I always tune everything to my specific sounds and, you know, liking. So, but this thing runs and this thing's a beast. So this brake doesn't work anymore. This brake does not work anymore. Just like how it doesn't work on my other chainsaw that's down there. None of the, none of the brakes work on my chainsaws, but man, for $45, man, this thing runs like a beast. And it's a 45cc it has 10, it has about 10 more power, 10 more CC than my 33 CC. So, I mean, Jesus Christ, man, this thing is amazing. And it's, and it's a lot bigger and heavier too, you know what I mean? So, this thing is a beast, 18 inch, mine is 14 inch, the one down there is 14 inch, 33 CC, this one's 18 inch, 45 CC, for 45 bucks, you couldn't beat it, man. And there was another guy. On Facebook selling them for 180 bucks used. I could put this back on the on the market for that same price, but I do not want to get rid of this. This is gonna make me, you know, this is my money making machine right here. You know what I'm saying? So get yourself some chainsaws. And well, you don't have to get a chainsaw because these are very dangerous. If you don't know how to use a chainsaw, like me, I'm so used to like I'm so used to these. Like every machine has a trigger. Every machine has a trigger, you know what I mean? All those machines, they come with triggers. So I'm so used to these throttles, so I know how to use a chainsaw, you know what I mean? I know how to use chainsaws. I know how to use, like, machines. You know what I mean? If you don't know how to use machines, then it's going to be... You, this can cause you, specifically, this compared to that, these don't cause dangerous. Sometimes this can hurt you, you know? But sometimes that can hurt you. Sometimes these things can hurt you. But this has a fucking... You know, this can kill you, you know what I mean? So, like, this is very dangerous. So, you really got to know how to operate these machines when you're using them. But I just want to make this video because I just got this bad boy yesterday. And this thing's a beast. I got a job coming soon that I'm going to be using. I'm going to take both of these chainsaws so I can be using them. Um, and, you know, I just want to make the video, man, because... There's nothing like buying machines. I didn't I didn't make a video of this guy yet, so here's my video of this guy. Uh and man, my heart's got to this, man. I love this machine. I love working on machines, man. I like buying machines machines for cheap and just working on them and fixing them up. This is where the gas goes, this is where the oil goes. And for every time you put a new gas, you should put a new oil. There goes your oil. It's gotta be bar and chain oil. You know what I mean? To lube up that chain. But man, I can't wait to use this guy, man. If you need chainsaw help, there it goes right there. <laughs> and yeah, man. Thanks for watching, guys. You guys take it easy. Damn, I wasn't expecting this video to be so long, but it's at 14 minutes and 32 seconds. So, I'm out, man. I don't want to waste your guys' time anymore. Thanks for watching. Thanks for bearing with me, man. Ricardo Ruiz signing out, baby. Green Thumb Engines. Peace.